Hello and good morning, y'all, and welcome to Krampus of Kirkwall. So this game just dropped yesterday on Itch, and it is a remake of a game I covered a few days ago called I Caught Santa Claus, which was like a two-minute long, walk down the stairs, find Santa, get jump-scared kind of game. Uh, this looks like it greatly enhances the concept and just really improves in every single aspect, and I'm pretty excited to check it out. So I guess we're going to be decorating our house and trying to find Santa, and it's a horror game. So things aren't going to go quite right. Uh, we'll see. But I'm pretty excited. So I'll have it linked in the description down below alongside the video of the original version of this game if you want to check that out too. Uh, but let's just go ahead and play it. Cramp is a Kirkwall. Let's get going. That's trippy. I'm glad you found a tree you like. Drive home safe. This weather isn't getting any better. And remember... Keep the TV on. Ooh. I can turn the game's audio down. Trust me, I know. Let's get through the opening cutscene here. This is loud. I'm loving the video effects stuff kind of spliced in, though. That's really nice looking. Even graphically, this is really nice looking. Maybe we don't gotta turn the. Oh no, no the audio's probably fine. What do we got on the shelf here? Ooh. Stuff. Alright. Eat. Chris's baubles? I want the red ones. Let's decorate the tree. Huh? To do, find baubles. One out of three. Can I find more here? I mean, there's more in there. How about in here? No. Ooh. Didn't really add any more baubles to the tree there, but that's okay. We know we put them there. They're just kind of well hidden. Some to get added. Place tinsel. You got it, bro. Oh my god, we get a wrap a pop figure? Oh, who's the unlucky person getting that? Ugh. Oh, here we go. Uh, we'll do white tinsel. Space. Easy matching. Oh no. That poor bobble. We have a nice little house here. Okay. Should probably explore it a little bit. December. It's December 22nd right now, it looks like, going by this. What was circled here? I can't tell. We wrap gifts on the 23rd, but I can't tell like what's on the other days. What's this? Kirkwall just got, gets worse every winter. Oops, I want to read. A Kirkwall gripped by winter nightmare. Krampus strikes amidst worst snowstorm in a decade. Kirkwall, a tranquil town nestled 20, millions from, uh, 20 miles from Brookthorn, is enduring a harrowing winter scene as the worst snowstorm in a decade blankets the region. However, the relentless storm has not only paralyzed transportation and caused power outages, but has intensifies, intensified the already palpable fear among residents, who annually face a more sinister threat, elusive... Wait, who face a more sinister threat, the elusive serial killer known as the Krampus of Kirkwall. As the snowstorm tightens its grip on Kirkwall and its surroundings, the town faces a dual crisis. Roads are buried under a thick layer of snow, bringing transportation to a standstill while power outages plunge homes into darkness and cold. 
Residents already on edge due to the yearly warnings about the mysterious Krampus now grapple with the added challenge of navigating the treacherous winter conditions. Local authorities, including the Great Fall Police Department, Great Fall PD, are stretched thin as they work to address both the immediate dangers of the snowstorm and the ongoing threat posed by the unidentified serial killer. Emergency services are hindered by the weather, weather, making it difficult to respond promptly to calls for assistance. For the past 12 years, Kirkwall has been haunted by the legend of the Krampus, uh, a shadowy figure responsible for series of gruesome killings, each more chilling than the last. The annual curfews and public service announcements have been grim tradition as residents are urged to stay indoors to avoid falling victim to the elusive murderer, whose identity remains unknown. As the snowstorm blankets the town, fear has reached unprecedented levels. The Krampus, known for exploiting the cover of darkness, is now presented with an opportunity to strike more easily as the storm disrupts visibility and complicates the efforts of law enforcement to patrol the streets. Greyfall PD, tasked with the solving, solving the mystery of the Krampus, and maintaining order in the face of the snowstorm is facing an uphill battle. The adverse weather conditions make it challenging for officers to conduct investigations, hindering progress in solving the series of unsolved murders that have plagued Kirkwall for over a decade. Police Chief Samuel Cole issued a statement acknowledging the difficulties faced by law enforcement. We are doing everything in our power to ensure the safety of our residents. The combined challenges of the snowstorm and the ongoing threat from the Krampus make this a particularly trying time for our community. We urge everyone to remain vigilant and report any suspicious activity. Despite the heightened fear and adversity, Kirkwall residents are drawing strength from the tight-knit community. Neighbors are banding together to support one another, sharing information about the Krampus and taking extra precautions to stay safe during the snowstorm. Local businesses are offering refuge and assistance to those in need, demonstrating that even in the darkest of times, the spirit of Kirkwall endures. As the storm, or rather, as the town weathers this dual storm, both natural and man-made, the courage and resilience of Kirkwall residents shine through. The Krampus may cast a shadow over the town, but the community's unwavering spirit remains unbroken, forging ahead into the unknown, hoping for safety and peace in return to their beloved Kirkwall. From the game studio that brought you another game nobody played, unveiling Camping Alone 2, S'more Trouble. Embark on a heart-pounding adventure uh, as they take you back to the terrifying marshmallow mayhem in Sugar Spring Park. Our fearless protagonist, brave as ever, is back to confront the fluffy fiend in this one-of-a-kind horror sequel. Join our hero as they camp alone again and unravel the mystery of the marshmallow monster that nobody believed existed until now. The s'more trouble begins when the aroma of roasting marshmallows wafts to the Sugar Spring Park, awakening the ferocious monster with an insatiable craving for vengeance. Features to Roast Your Interest Marshmallow Mayhem 2.0, the monster is fluffier, angrier, and toastier than ever. Will you survive the Marshmallow Massacre? Sugar Spring Park Expanded Exploring the new territories like the Chocolate Lagoon, Caramel Canopy, and Gummy Grove. Watch out for sticky situations. Campsite Customization Personalize your campsite with the latest in mar monster-proof technology. Can you build a fortress that even Marshmallow Monster can't resist? Multiplayer Madness Team up with friends to see who can survive the Swedish showdown. It's survival of the tastiest. That was a very long log to read. Like, a lot of lore. So I'm going to assume that's probably all we're going to get for lore. Never mind. We also got this. To Joanne. Enjoy Christmas. We'll miss you, but you really need this time off. I can't remember the last time you had a break. Just know you're super appreciated at work and we couldn't do it without you. Stay safe and keep the TV on. We really pushed the whole keeping the TV on. Um, yeah, that was a gingerbread cookie. That was a very big bit of lore to read. Hello. Hey, we got we got some good info. We got some good deets. Call residents must follow their yearly Christmas, whatever. Keep all doors and windows locked. Under no circumstances should you leave your family. You or your family leave your house. Reading's very hard right now, apparently. Tonight, I will catch Santa Claus. This Christmas, I want proof. Everyone has... Oh, I couldn't finish that. Oh.
some found footage style here. Interesting. So this is like the first game. This is like... Yeah. And how was I caught Santa Claus? Yeah, you went downstairs. There was like a paper here. You went in, you looked under the Christmas tree, and then freaking Santa was right there. That's fair. I probably shouldn't have went outside. There could be a murderer out there. Uh, untangle lights. Oh, there we go. Nice and untangled. What is this? Excuse it is, I wish I didn't have, feel like someone was watching me all the time. I don't remember putting it here. There's just an elf on the shelf. Find the star. You got it, bro. I remember that being there. Noise. House is looking good. One now, TV. What we got? I'll provide instructions. You December first and December twenty fifth. It's important for the safety of yourself and those around you. Do not approach anyone dressed as Santa Claus. You may only dress as Santa Claus and Kirkwall under the following: following, you are a populated public area between nine to five. No criminal record. Please comply with the following instructions to ensure your house is secure enough. Oh, well, good thing we had a candle. Oh, is that Tom the Tamale Man? Good old basement section. We love basement sections. The Window Watcher, a film by Jack Robinson. Why did you build your freaking basement to look so fucking creepy? Okay. Uh, no? Okay, so is it going to be something like you hit the right switch and then it'll let you know if you hit the right one? If that's two, three, four, okay. So, this one's number three. Oh, got it. Cool. Simple enough. Hi, how are you? This is a Wendy's. Okay. What are we doing now? Oh. Tom the Tamale Man! <laughs> Sherlock, all doors and entrances. It's actually important to board up chimneys if you have one. Thanks for the warning. I'm taking a nice little nappy, too. They're playing in Happy Holidays. Alright, so in comparison to I Caught Santa Claus, that game was such a ridiculous step up in every single way, it's not even funny. Um, I think the newspaper probably took up half the playtime, though. But I mean, I guess it's on me for reading the entire thing, but it was fun getting the, getting the lore. Um... 
being in this weird city with like a murderer and all this, and they get to like lock all the doors, board up the chimney, uh, while also pretending that Christmas is happening like normal. I mean, that's pretty cool. Uh, the Krampus Santa killer thing looked cool enough. Um, yeah, not much like really bad to say about that. It was just a fun little Christmas horror game that just took the original concept and made it better in every way. And in fact, they took the original concept and put it in this game with a flashback sequence while putting a little twist on it. Like, literally the original game's in this game as a dream sequence with a slightly different ending. Yeah, overall, like, good. I liked it. So yeah, that was Krampus of Kirkwall. That is linked in the description down below alongside my video coverage of the first uh, game this is based on. I caught Santa Claus. So if you want to watch that too, go for it. But that is going to do it for this video, so thank you all very much for watching. Y'all have a lovely day, and as always, toodles y'all.